Hi, I'm Kelsey, and I'm a pole dance beginner. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> I have about a year of pole dancing experience cumulatively, but that's been really on and off and it's been quite scattered. This clip here is from when I would consider myself at my most advanced level and I'm still just starting on intermediate level tricks. After a year break, I'm almost on month two of my pole progress having a pole in my own home, but I would definitely consider myself way back at the beginner stage again. You really lose it if you don't use it. I decided to take to the internet to find myself some beginner pole dance tutorials to see what people actually consider beginner level. I used an incognito browser so YouTube wouldn't pick up that I was on a pole dancing account, and I set the search filter to most viewed because I figured that would be a good way to see what the most popular pole dance tutorials are. Across the board, the beginner tutorials were on static pole, so I had to change my spinning pole to static. Very sad. This is the most viewed video if you search for beginner pole tricks at 4.3 million views, but I didn't want to find something that said fail because I wanted to succeed, so I skipped past this one. So our first real tutorial is pole dance workout for beginners from of all places Watch Mojo at 2.7 million views. This is a tutorial that begins with a lot of talking. I'll show you what I mean. Then it was my turn, and don't worry, this is the only time that I did my showcase before I showed me alongside the instructor. I realized what I was doing was weird, and so I changed it for the rest of the video. So our third move has what she calls the upside down baseball grip, and I truly do not believe that this is a beginner's grip. I find it quite difficult and really hard on the forearm and wrist, and I would say it's more of an intermediate move. Overall, I award this three shrimps out of five. Despite me complaining about the verbosity at the beginning, I actually think a lot of verbal instruction before you even show physical instruction is a good thing. I just don't think the underhand grip is appropriate for beginners, and she did emphasize that you always have your dominant hand up, which will lead to your other side being weak if that's how you always practice pole. Moving on to Pole Dance Tricks Beginner Level by Bertigrin at 1.9 million views. And you know it's beginner level because there's a Superman in the thumbnail. Starting out pretty hardcore here, getting out my mat and putting on dry hands to attempt these beginner moves. Here's what it says at the beginning of her video. Pole dance tricks beginner level, 10 tricks every beginner pole dancer should learn. So let's see what her first move is. Just do a little side-by-side -side action there. Oh, yeah, I'm doing exactly what she's doing. Remember, I have about a cumulative year of pole dancing experience and I have been working on inversions three times a week since I got my pole in my home. All right, air invert, let's go. It's my turn, let's see how I do. I died because I tried a pole dance move that was way too hard for me. Zero shrimps for this one. I think it's really irresponsible to suggest that inversions, especially air inversions, are beginner moves. I think this creator maybe confused the words basic and beginner because yes, an inversion is a basic move that you will use later in pole dancing, but it is absolutely not a beginner move. And if people try this on their very first time in the pole, they are gonna hurt themselves. I did find this great comment on the video though. Beginner level for Russians and Ukrainians. <laughs> 
Our next video is top 10 beginner pole moves by pole freaks at 1.1 million views. Here's how their video starts. Now when I say beginner, it doesn't mean that you're gonna learn them on your first lesson, but more in your first weeks and months of polling. With that in mind, I got started doing all of these fun moves that Holly from Pole Freaks was modeling. You've probably already noticed this, but I am actually smiling while trying to do these moves. If you look here, I'm actually not doing what she's doing with her feet. So that was the only move I really struggled with in this video and I never figured out what I was doing wrong with my feet. Okay, this one was great. I would give it four shrimps out of five. The only thing I would say would maybe be a detriment is that it moves pretty quick. So if you're a beginner, you might get a little bit overwhelmed, but they do have a lot of longer tutorials on their actual website. Next up, we have On the Pole Tutorial Beginner Spins by Athena Aerial Fitness at 976,000 views. Here's a good reminder that yes, I actually am a beginner because this is something that requires quite a lot of body awareness that I obviously did not have. <laughs> Just like the Watch Mojo video, this one also included a move with an underhand grip, which again, I find too difficult for beginners. You can see that I'm not actually making a revolution around the pole because I'm getting stuck with trying to do the grip. Three shrimps out of five here. It was pretty simple and fun, but as you can see in this clip I've included, they have a little screen on the right that shows you written instructions while she's doing the physical movement, and I think it's a little bit distracting. Also the underhand grip, too difficult. Our final tutorial comes from the deities themselves, the x pole people, with top five beginner moves full series, 748,000 views. This is another tutorial with a lot of talking to start you out, and it starts with two instructors, one modeling the moves and one talking you through it, which I thought was interesting. After this first version of the knee tuck, they also showed a version where you don't have to bring your knees all the way to your chest if it's too difficult, which I really appreciated as a beginner. For this fireman spin, she begins in a static position and then sort of falls into it, so that's what I was trying to emulate here, being as literal as possible with following the videos. But my feet were very sweaty, so that's why I was slipping so much. The coveted 5 out of 5 shrimps for x pole Woohoo! You can tell they are pole manufacturers because their tutorial is really easy to follow and features modifications throughout if things are too difficult, which I think is truly the mark of a beginner pole move. 
I will now show you one of my favorite beginner pull moves, which I should just call sliding out of the frame. But I like this one because you don't have to pull yourself up at all, you could do it fully clothed, and you don't need a mat or dry hands to do it. Remember, there's no shame in being a beginner, we all have to start somewhere. As I conclude, here is me trying to do a move and not succeeding.